this is how to monitor wireless rover battery status so this is the battery one this is the battery two and this is the battery three i could change the colors of the displays but i think that's fine Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Station Ears, Let's Play on Mars, episode number 34. So, let's get started. So this is the base, you know it already, but with some goofing around and a friend on a Discord, Mr. Drake, I do have an idea. Basically, I was pushed into it. So, this is the status monitor of the batteries uh, of the battery charger in the rover garage but when i have this for the charger i think i can make something very very similar for the rover because the rover has three batteries and maybe i would like to see the status of that batteries so let's get started i will need a ic housing of course, I don't have any IC housing laying around. Most of the time I had some IC housings. Oh, nice. So in the vending machine, so I, I will get one. Okay, so now I need to place it somewhere. And where the hell I'm going to place it? Probably here. This is some space for IC housing. So I'm going to connect it to the network or the, the grid or whatever it is. Uh, come on, just like that. And now I need to connect the power. And of course I don't have any heavy cable, so I'm sorry for this guys. So it looks like I'm absolutely not prepared for today's episode. So let's let's get some heavy cables i'm going to print some so heavy cables you know, i will get some heavy cables i will show you the rover garage so this is the elevator it doesn't have the elevator music yet but it will have one day so imagine some music playing in the background so this is the rover and this is the the battery charger if i will move the batteries we will see the displays upstairs showing different numbers so the rover has only three batteries this one is dead okay screw it so I will do something else. So now the rover has, has uh, three batteries. And I know the slot numbers already. But I need to go upstairs and I will try to do something for the rover. Because I think it is going to be a good idea to see the status of the rover. Batteries uh, on LED displays. Okay, so the heavy cables are piling up. That's perfect. That's exactly how I planned. But I will need a transmitter. Where the hell do I have the transmitter? It should be somewhere inside this vending machine. And next thing what I need is a recycle, a recycler. Because I do have a lot of stuff in my base. And I don't want most of it so let's find this transmitter come on where is it so this will take a while okay i don't need iron steel lights carbon dioxide come on this is unbelievable well if i will see the ic housing that then i'm going to print uh, the yeah screw it I can print the, the virus transmitter. 
So one more cable and maybe maybe this is enough. So I have uh, maybe 35, 40 cables. Yeah, 35. Perfect. That needs <clears throat> it is going to be enough. So now I need to get transmitter. One is enough. So I'm just thinking how I'm going to do it, but I but I think it's it's doable, and it shouldn't be hard. But I need to place that transmitter somewhere, and of course I will f forget sooner or later what this transmitter does. So it will be right here. So cutters and let's connect this puppy to the grid so let's try it this way this this needs to be a T section over here I always choose the, the worst uh, place for devices all the time guys all the time so let's do it this way and one more T section, corner here, corner there, and that's it. So just like that, now I'm going to rename this transmitter to something creative. So let's say a TR, like a transmitter rover status. I think that's creative enough and now I need to set the transmitter for the rover okay that's active perfect and screwdriver and vampire 2 rover cargo okay hard suite yeah rover cargo so we have almost everything set but i will need at least three consoles and now i'm thinking if i will place a door over here then i can't play uh, place the consoles so maybe maybe yeah screw it consoles who cares right so i will need three consoles but I'm going to print five. Like there should be some kind of a discount if you are printing in bulk, right? So this is going to be console over here. Or oh, sorry, guys. I mean a small LED display, not the console. And of course, the consoles are piling up already. I have six probably yeah of course <laughs> so let's get started so I need small LED display it, it could be so good if we could mirror these LED displays like uh, it will display the number in the opposite way but who cares right so I can't place it there so one two three and let's say four and five i'm not going to use this uh, extra led displays but i'm going to connect them because maybe i will display something else on it maybe so this is going to be e sections all the way just like that and these corner right and this guy and this guy so everything is connected now I need to rename these consoles so this is going to be LED O one so it is going to be LED O one this is going to be LED 2 and LED 3. I know that's very, very creative names. 
so let's try to develop the the program for it i think i know already how to do it but it is going to be a lot of testing so i need ic chip oh come do i need to print or i need to find an ic chip somewhere okay i think it is going to be easier to print it so this will take a few seconds so I will just look around my base and okay, almost 50%. What happened to this portable light? I'm not paid for this, but I need to do it, guys. I need to rename this uh, light or portable light to Aperture. I hope this is the this is the right name for the company. But uh, th this is not a sponsored video, guys, okay? So don't get crazy. So. I do have the IC chip. I do have some garbage over here. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knocked that uh, light over again. So edit. And this is the... This is the program for the battery charger so i think i'm going to modify it and it should be fine but before modifying the program like it, it is crazy easy program so before modifying it i'm going to turn off this guy and i'm going to cut this cable because if I want to program this IC chip, it is going to be much, much easier. So D0 is going to be TR rover status. So TR rover status. Okay, what is happening right now? Oh, it is not running. No. It doesn't have the power. So I think I need to connect that guy to the network. I don't know if it is a bug or a feature or whatever, but when you want to connect the transmitter to your grid or to whatever you want, when you want to see it in the network, it needs to run. What the hell is this? Okay, that's fine. So let's program the IC chip. So this is TR rover status, and I, now I need LED01, 2, and 3. So LED01, LED02, and LED03. This is it. I will place the cable back. And now I need to modify the program. So, let's do it. Let's do it and let's do it fast. So, I will try to do my best. This is the, the program for the, the battery status. So, I'm going to... to delete two lines so far now i am going to change this alias just like this like i don't need to do it because i know how i did connect that uh screws but maybe you need to do you need to rename the aliases if you will do this and now I need to remember the slots for the rover. And I think it is uh, slot number 9, 10 and 11. So I will need three lines for the code. So I'm going to delete two lines again. So ls load slot 
it is slot number nine so it is going to be r8 or no r9 r10 and r11 just like this now i need the slot number so nine should be slot number eight nine should be nine no eight is nine nine come on so nine ten eleven so it is going to be eight nine and ten just like this i hope so i'm going to delete this crap just like this and eight nine ten now i will delete another few lines so i don't need i don't need this and i don't need this as well just like this so on ledo ledo one i want to display r9 on d2 i want to display r10 and then i want to display r11 so let's save the program but i need to do it in tester so if i will do something stupid the program is gone something is happening with the steam i have no idea what is happening right now i'm going to save it so sdb rover battery status or just status sdb rover status okay the program has been saved so if something happens to steam or the game everything should be fine so this is the tester chip now let's see what happens so i will place it there i will start these three led displays and now i should do a break for advertisement right i am back i did restart the steam so maybe it will work and i'm trying to find some input output chips or basic logic chips and this is again i'm missing search function in this machine by the way imagine you have the, this machine completely full and you need to click 100 times to find something so where the hell are the chips iron ore what the hell is iron ore doing here so course the, the vending machine is off give me a chip okay <laughs> just one so let's try something okay i'm going to hook it up here and i need slot reader so now i need a screwdriver now let's investigate the rover so it is going to be tr rover status slot okay it should be slot battery battery okay and this one slot number nine slot number nine Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so eleven, twelve, thirteen. I did a mistake. Let's fix it. So eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Eleven. Eleven is going to be ten. This is going to be eleven. 
and vote number 12. So hopefully the program is fixed. I need to use the IC housing tester. <clears throat> Let's export. I will check the variable for the battery charge. It could be or it is exactly the same. Charge ratio, perfect. Okay, I don't care about any other variables, so I, I need just this. I'm going to save the program, just in case. So export. I will take it with me and hopefully we will get like zero 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 percent or something like that. Okay, another error. Line eight. What the hell? Light uh, line eight. So Hmm. Okay, let's do it a different way. And this is a troubleshooting all the time, guys. So we are reading tower or uh, TR rubber status battery. So 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. And 13, what the hell? So the battery is slot number 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. Then 11, 12. Okay, let's try at least one battery so far. Just like this. Confirm. Export to the tester and I think I did a mistake again because I didn't have the right IC chip here. So this one is running these guys. This one is running these guys. Okay, 100, 100, and 0. Did I do it right? So let's take empty battery. Okay, I'm going to print one battery. This one, and this is going to be empty battery. Because I, I, I think I have a nuclear battery over there, I do have a large battery and I will test one empty battery. Well, let's go downstairs. Ouch. If I did it right, we will see a 0% on that third display oh I do have three batteries there so it is shifted by one slot okay so let's go upstairs let's go upstairs and I'm going to fix the program again because maybe I did I had it right but I didn't have the chip inside the housing so that's that's probably the mistake I did so tester goes there so let's try this and this and it should be this time right at least guys you can see the troubleshooting with a stupid short program so just like that okay 
something is wrong, that's fine. Why? I am not surprised. So butter 11, 10, 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. So 10 is slot 9, this is 10 and this should be 11. Let's see, let's go back to the IC housing and we will see. Perfect, but I'm not sure if it works. <laughs> So I need to go back to the rover, I will take out all the batteries and we should get three zeros. Do I have space for three batteries? Yes I do, perfect. One, two and one more. Okay, I'm going to take it, I'm going upstairs. And it should or it could work finally after 10 hours of <laughs> troubleshooting. We have three zeros. Okay, so the program is probably finished. But I'm going to return one nuclear battery. And hopefully we will have the right slots for it, because it can be still wrong. So, first slot, and let's use this battery in this slot, slot number three. So we should have a, some kind of a status on first and the last LED display. If we do, that's perfect. Let's go back. Yes, we have it, we have it, we have it. So this is how to monitor wireless rover battery status. So this is the battery one, this is the battery two, and this is the battery three. I could change the colors of the displays but I think that's fine guys see you in the next one bye bye this is the way <laughs>